I'd always heard the stories of perfect waves in Ireland, but it wasn't until I was 18 that I came on my first trip here. Over here in County Clare, there's just an amazing crew of surfers that have their own farm. All the lads are charged like madmen, and apparently the boys can see the sea from the farm. So as soon as a big swell hits, work stops, and they're out there. Been meaning to come and visit the boys for a long time now, so it's great to finally be here. <laughs> How are you, Cuzzy? How are you? Good to see you, mate. All good, fags. You come in, mate. Exciting times for tomorrow, fingers crossed. Is it looking good, is it? There'll be fun ways, for sure. Hey, it could be a beautiful morning. I don't know if there is any other nutters that wake up at 3.45 to go surfing there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. White lines. What do you think, Corbsy? It's going to be cranking. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Under the red case. Nice to get wet, eh, Corb? and Guinness. <laughs> Mate, it's good to be here. Good to be here and finally see what you've been up to. <laughs> is that Fergal over there? It is, yeah. Mr. Smith! How the hell are you? Oh, everything's all good. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Good to see you, dude. Oh, it's been too long. Yeah. Beautiful day to turn up. It's nice to see it all, all in action. Yeah, man. We're getting there. Amazing, mate. I've heard so much about the farm, Ferg. It's so good to be here and oh. visit and check it out. But for yourself, growing has been with you since day one. Yes, I've always been a farm kid. Like, I grew up on a farm and then went surfing. It was a dream of mine to leave a little farm inland in Mayo to go and be, you know, a surfer around the world. And I made that dream a reality. But people think this is a big deal, leaving, you know, a job that you were getting paid to go surfing. To me, it's probably the best job we could ever ask for, you know? And my thing is bringing in surfers because we live in these rural areas by, by the sea and people need food and surfers have the free time like a lot of people don't. So you're all surfing together. So we're all And then surfing. come back buzzing and then you blitz the work in a day or two when it would have taken one person a whole week, you know? We never miss out, you know? We work hard when there's no waves. So then you're like, cool, let's go surfing. It's an amazing grounding thing, because surfing is quite radical, quite extreme, 10-foot barrels, <laughs> getting your mind just, like, blown out of its, yeah, just crazy images, and then you go from that world to let's plant some spuds, and let's weed the carrots. And it just brings you from this world of just amazing, wild fun right down to the ground, and you're just, like, weeding. <laughs> Back to the garden. Back to the garden, legend, Ferg. Talk me through the little technique, Mitchell. Turn it over. I want it fluffy like mash. Exactly, mate. Here we go. That's, that's the goal, right? That's not going to be friendly for a turnip, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so we just walk onto the top of the hill and keep an eye on it. Is that, is that yeah, the plan? Yeah, a sneaky peek. Maybe some waves. Let's do it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Let's have a look. Show me your hands. 
We've had two long surfs and you've still got soil ingrained in your hands from grafting on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> you are some boy, Mitchell. Some scrubber. Some boy. <laughs> <laughs>